Hi everyone, it's Erin from The Impatient Gardener. Um, I am just ripping through a bunch of stuff in the yard today, but I thought I'd just show you how I manage um, a situation that some of you might have found yourselves in before. Um, what you're looking at right now is the little trailer for the wheel um, for the lawnmower. It's full of weeds. And this is sort of the north side of the house. Uh, and some of this is a shade border, and then we get into some kind of sunnier areas. And I've just been so busy with so many other things this year that I have not had a chance to really dig into this area. So the whole thing about four hours ago was just covered in, if you see that, that's all jewel weed, which here is a true weed. It's in the um, impatience family. Um, the one good thing about jewel weed, is, well, there's a couple good things about it, actually. It's got an astringent quality to it, so you can sometimes use the stem. Um, but it pulls up just that easy. You can just pull it up by one little leaf, especially last night we had a good rain. So it pulls up really easy. So what I did for this entire area all the way around the other side of the house is I just spent about three or four hours just hand pulling everything I possibly could hand pull um, up to a certain point. Obviously I might need to go um, in there a little further, but at this point it's literally a rescue mission to save plants that are getting drowned out by by I mean there's a hosta back there that I completely forgot that right there that I forgot I had they're getting eaten by these weeds so it's literally a rescue mission so the goal today was just run around pull out everything I can by hand really quick and I just dump it all on the grass and now I'm in the part where I'm picking it up so I will show you just some so we've got one trailer full of weeds right there I'm just gonna walk you around so you can see the piles of weeds. I mean, that's probably a trailer load right there. This goes all the way, and you can see I missed a few things. I mean, this is really sort of a rough weeding situation. Coming around this corner, wait, there's more. I mean, this whole area, I just pulled weeds like mad. So what I'm going to do, you can see it goes all the way down there too. So what I'm going to do now is pick up everything with the wheelbarrow, or I mean the, I could use the wheelbarrow, but I'm being lazy and using the tractor. Um, picking everything up, dumping it, and then ideally what I would do next is come back with the edger, because all these beds have not been edged yet, and then fine weed. Get in there with the stuff that doesn't hand pull out, and um, dig out the stuff that needs to be dug out and then get mulch on there right away um, but I have a couple of plants that I really need to get into one of these beds we are due to get a storm in about two hours so I'm kind of rushing a little bit here to try to get um, get this stuff kind of just sort of managed to the point where I can and try to get those plants in because then they'll get just a really nice watering in so this is where we're at but you know what is so funny I mean I really like how this bed looks except for the places where I can see the deer ate some hostas and bef and literally four hours ago you could barely see it for all those weeds so um, it's always nice to do a little reclam bed reclamation and if so if you have a ton of weeds somewhere um, you don't give up on that area just do what you can and get in there and even if I did nothing more than this you know what and came back later um, it would be okay. It would be better than, than what was happening here before. And in fact, I know that those weeds, there were anemones growing in there and they're all gone. Um, and I'm sure they just died out because they were so shaded. They got no sun and no, um, and no light, no water, nothing. So, um, so that's it. So if you have a bed that's just in a terrible state, like this one is, I mean, look at the edge here. There's just chickweed and everything else growing in there. Don't despair. It happens to all of us. Do the best you can. Go in there and at least do a rough weed. And like I said, just if you've got the, any kind of weed that you can pull out by hand, go in there and get out what you can and then come back and finish it up. So that's a little uh, weeding tip and not to mention yet another, yet another video on a really ugly part of my garden right now. So we'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Bye-bye.